Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for coming to this presentation. And uh, I would uh, like to thank uh, the organizers of this meeting for all this, uh, all this difficult work you, you've been doing to, to bring us together. And I hope that this presentation uh, will demonstrate how much I have been benefited from uh, these symposiums along the years. And I can see that Rosanne Sat is there, Luis Vargas and Monica Garcia Melon, good old friends from uh, previous meetings. And uh, I can feel right now that I'm like on a, some kind of uh, a graduate exam. So I hope I can uh, show how much I learned from, from you guys. Well, the case I'm going to, to show it's a, uh, it's, uh, it's not a, it's very straightforward, but the problem that, uh, that we face is how can you uh, uh, help a multilateral organization to get the, the criteria uh, for uh, creating a portfolio of projects. And this multilateral organization is uh, the Global Environmental Facility. You can check what it is in the internet. And uh, the problem that uh, multilateral organizations such as GET is having the, uh, in current times is that have been compelled to uh, distribute funds through governments to national governments that go through NGOs uh, uh, mainly for specific projects. And their goal now, their goals have to include the participation of the stakeholders or the beneficiaries of those of those projects. So that is very difficult to do from that from a multilateral organization, from a national government, and from the uh, 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 different organizations. So we were asked to help them to identify the portfolio of projects that maximizes Mexico's contribution to improving the global environment. I'm going just to present the part that we deal with the uh, implementation of the AGHP in this context. The identification of the portfolio of projects, of course, included multi-objective optimization based on the criteria weights or, or, or the, the resulting weights of the, uh, of this analysis. Well, uh, the problem that you have when you present a, a, pro, a project to GEF is that your project has to be uh, implemented in a country, but there's a mandate for, uh, for, uh, an, uh, for, for a global benefit uh, 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 and, uh, on the environment. So uh, again, as I said, they have to be complemented to inform GEF's obligation to engage with civil society stakeholders. And the guidelines of this emphasize transparency and cooperation. Well, here we have the, the, the first problem. Because what we gather is all the uh, stakeholders in, in, uh, that, that were interested in, uh, in uh, accessing to these funds. And we have this meeting. And we have a, a workshop in where about 80 participants uh, came together with different backgrounds and professional profiles, but also with vested interest in the criteria they're implemented. So there were different areas of focus like uh, biodiversity, like energy, like uh, uh, social uh, cooperation in a uh, small community, so you, you name it. So the idea is that you have this, uh, remembering the, the, the keynote uh, speak, we have this process of chaos, high uncertainty and we have different meetings. We divided the different uh, group. Uh, I mean, this, this uh, group of people in four groups, uh, kind of homogeneous to produce the problems of, defi of definitions and point of view. For example, the people interested in biodiversity were in one group, the people interested in energy sector were in another group and so on. So we try to make it uh, kind of homogeneous in general. Uh, minimizing the heterogeneity within groups and maximizing the heterogeneity in between groups. And then we uh, integrated everything together through the uh, AHP. Uh, is this just to remember that we have a very long, long, long plenary discussions along these two days. 
this is in general the structure we have. We have uh, uh, the what we did is we got uh, all the criteria uh, uh, or the requirements of GEVs that they have the mandate to 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 fulfill to comply with, and we uh, with that basis we organize this uh, hierarchy is, is structure. Then the idea is that uh, in the different groups, the people, the, the participants uh, perform the pairwise comparisons and so on. And then we had uh, to get into the, the process of aggregating the problems in a way that is transparent for the different uh, uh, groups, but also that showing and proving to them how we uh, take into the consideration their point of view. So we applied uh, two techniques. One was interval judgment and send it to check for the uncertainty, the, 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 how, what, what was the effect of the different uh, point of view, uh, the different knowledges that uh, are uh, manifested in the pairwise comparisons. And also the G index, the uh, Claudio Garuti's uh, G index that I, the, the first time I got acquainted with this was in 2011 with there some, I mean, uh, 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 very interesting, it's much more interesting than the one I presented that it was uh, uh, that is on, the, on, on, on the right figure. And you can read it, it was for support and medical diagnosis. So I thought the inspiration of these two uh, 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 techniques. Well, the results of the digital judgment, it's I'm just showing very briefly and this time were uh, something like this, we have a three by three matrix. And then we, uh, uh, with the stakeholders, we show how uh, the different point of view affected the, the distribution of weights. And for example, here is very clear that the, the criteria in yellow uh, has no chance of a rank reversal, but the rank reversal between the blue and the orange, it's, uh, the probability is uh, rather high. So it would be uh, uh, in the benefit of the analysis in the minimizing the, the, the uncertainty just to uh, consider these uh, two uh, criteria with uh, equal weight. So what's one case and this is another case and you can get the idea. But these figures help the stakeholders to understand how we are bringing all the pieces together. So what we had is just the, the list of the, uh, for example, here's the, the aggregation utilizing the geometric mean on, on the table on the left. On the table of the, of the right is the probability of land reversals uh, between pairs of uh, different uh, criteria in our network. Then with all this information, what we uh, 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 arrange uh, uh, ranking in order from the highest to uh, weighted uh, uh, criterion to the, the one of the mean weights. And then the, you, you, we, we can that, uh, tend to see a pattern. Of course, it was a large variation uh, between the four working tables. The, the, for example, in this criteria, this is, uh, uh, this is the weight for one of the working tables. Uh, and this is uh, another one. So the, there was a very large spread. So the problem for us is was to convince them which what would be the best representation. And uh, we didn't impose uh, uh, directly the idea of the geometric mean because then uh, we had a context that the people that it is uh, that, that consider that this is a rather low weight, <clears throat> how can you convince them that this uh, other representation is better? So uh, uh, the next step for this was to uh, just uh, uh, link all this uh, uh, in, the, just in the figure to see the different patterns. But there was at least an agreement that there's a, large, a bunch of uh, very important criteria and uh, some other criteria that are not very important. But then, which was, was the better presentation? And, and this is when uh, the compatibility index, uh, the G index from Claudio Garuti was very handy. So we performed all the calculations. And then we have, uh, what was the, the, the result? 
that there was a null compatibility between the results of the different working tables. Uh, these are where the, the, the values of the G index. So no one, no, no one in the, an, an independent table could claim that it had the, the, the best representation amongst the others. And then there was a moderate compatibility between each of these representations with the geometric mean and the uh, interval judgment analysis. So at least there was some compatibility with the general ag aggregation. And then we demonstrated that was a very high compatibility between the output of the interval judgment and the geometric mean uh, aggregation. So at this point, we, would, we were building consensus uh, of which was the best representation for the different uh, criteria. And recall that these criteria are very important because is what you have to put attention when you submit your proposal for, uh, for the Global Environmental Facility Funds. Uh, and this time in Mexico, the, the, the total uh, uh, amount of funding for in this year was uh, about $100 million uh, that was, has to, to be distributed in uh, you, 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 you have to distribute it as much as you can uh, 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 in an optimal way. And there were about around 300 proposals. Just so you have, the, the important thing, as you know, is not the, the ones you accept, so, but how you explain some, uh, to someone that, that uh, his proposal was rejected. So what are our conclusions? Uh, uh, Identifying an optimal GEF, uh, GEF project uh, portfolio is very challenging. There's vested interest. And the group that was rather numerous, it was difficult of suspicious or incredulous participants. And you have to convince them. Uh, the combination of interval judgment and Garutu G index help us uh, in uh, convincing them and creating consensus. Uh, the important thing is the interval judgment analysis provided a means for the visualization of the effect of disagreements between the, in the pairwise comparisons amongst the groups. Whereas the G index provided a means for participants of understanding why the geometric mean or the interval judgment aggregation was the best representation. And then in this way, the overall process was conducted to consensus building and there were inputs for a multi-objective uh, optimization. Is uh, to select the optimal por por portfolio. And it, this is all the things uh, I want to share with you. And uh, uh, I'll stop here. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you for this interesting presentation. So any questions, dear participants? Sorry, yes, I have a question. Hello, Please, Liz. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you say that you did all this, which at, at least it took like, say, a couple of weeks, uh, in order to make them, to, to convince them of your methodology. Because from the very beginning, they were not, well, how do you say they were suspicious? I don't, I don't remember the word you said. Yeah, that, I mean, uh, what, uh, that, that's a very good question. Uh, so we had a two-day workshop. It was a two-day workshop. Okay. Two-day, yeah. yeah, long long days, very long days. Okay. Uh, awful yeah. days. I mean, any, anyone that uh, <laughs> that has done facilitation in this context yeah, yeah. is tiresome. Mad. But uh, when you have good facilitators, I mean, it's... Uh, it's uh, how it how many were fun. they? I didn't count them. The, the participants? Yeah. Yeah, they were invited by the environmental ministry because yeah. they weren't responsible to distribute the funds. Mm -hmm. So they had a list of people interested, the so-called experts. So we didn't have the control of that, but they were from uh, government agencies, from uh, the private sector and from NGOs, mainly and academia, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, so they came together. I, each one of them, of course, considered experts in evaluating these kind of projects but didn't know about the guidelines of the of, of GEF. So why we have to provide all that information. And that one important thing, if, the, the, one important challenge was to convince them that the hierarchy structure 
was uh, the, the capture all the important elements of, of the requirements by head. So that was the first step. And then we had to give them the liberty to provide their view, uh, 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 their viewpoints, and, and they did it in the different tables. But you can imagine that when uh, someone see a criterion, is not uh, in the it, it, it has a vested interest uh -huh. yeah. because, for example, uh, it, that was a, one of the most difficult things. Uh, you have that your project has to be uh, of global benefit, but you're applying in a small community. So, what is more important, the national, the global, or the local? Mm -hmm. So, when you see that criterion, the the, the pairwise comparison according to the importance you're providing has all this vested interest, which is very legitimate. I don't have any, anything against that. But it's the reality that uh, you have to get uh, that result before you get into an aggregation. Mm -hmm. So by this process, uh, with the loss of skeptical, suspicious, because people do not trust the numbers that easily, do not trust the process of pairwise comparisons and all these uh, calculations, uh, that was uh, simple. You have to interact with them. I don't know if I'm responding to your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow, yes. Yeah, but I wonder if so. So many mathematics will convince these people. I have a, I have a question, uh, Luis. Uh, that's a good interesting yeah. question, Monica. I'd like Luis. Yes, uh, yes. Very nice talk. Um, Thank you. How did they How did they record the judgments and did they? Um, did they discuss them? I guess suppose they discussed them. Yes, yes, yes. How did they, they just record it in paper, each individual judgment, or just? No, the, we, in, in the working groups, we uh, we uh, uh, implemented super decisions directly mm -hmm. on screen. We have a projector on that screen, and we have uh, um, and, uh, in the independent workshops, people uh, presenting the arguments for the pairwise comparisons. So that, in that case, it was very important for us to have kind of homogeneity within groups at the beginning as much as possible. Okay. So, so they, they, agreed to a, they agreed to a judgment, that's what you're saying. And then you just yes. put it the decisions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, good. 